this new grinder was 10 times more expensive than my old grinder, but is it really 10 times better? So usually when I'm grinding up my herbs, this is the kind of grinder I use. Just your regular old cheapo grinder that you can find everywhere. I got this from a local dispo for like nine bucks plus tax. If we look inside, you can see it has a good bit of buildup and residue. And you can see that I only use these grinders for legal herbs and spices. This video is about legal herb grinders and does not violate community guidelines. But before we look at this old dirty grinder any further, let's look at what we're going to be comparing it to. This is the Canastore Grader B2 Solid Body Grinder. I have the rose gold, but there is also a matte black and a matte silver option. This grinder is for sale on riot.com and it currently costs $90. That's 10 times more expensive than my other grinder. So here's all the features that this $90 grinder advertises. A solid body build made from anodized food grade aluminum, a limited lifetime warranty, storage compartment in the lid, two different easy change grinder plates with a spare grinder plate included, anti-friction and anti-residue rings, micro teeth, deep dish grinding chamber, easy change grinder screen, and a polished puck base. And this is three and a quarter inches high by 2.1 inches wide wide, but is that worth the difference in the price? My regular grinder works just fine. I mean, it grinds herbs. It's made out of some type of aluminum, so it's pretty strong, but it seems like it's painted, which I don't love, because all of these tiny paint chips that come off around the edge could end up in my herbs. Mine is really sticky right now because of all the stuff stuck to the side. I need to clean it, but when it was new, it did spin really good. The middle section where the ground herbs fall into the screen is even dirtier. So like nothing's really getting through. And this ring in the bottom keeps me from taking it out to clean it. So it's just, you know, always dirty. So let's look at this $90 grinder. Okay, the grinder is in the top of the box. And then if we pull this out, underneath this little foam, we have a little storage bag and a can of store sticker. Got a little purse for my grinder. And my first impression taking this thing out of the box is I really love the way it looks. I love the rose gold. Like you always see a black grinder. I've always had like black or silver or gold grinders. This is pink and silver. That's dope. There's a little sticker on here that says stainless steel screen because there are different kinds of screens. We'll get to that in a minute, but it feels really nice. It looks really nice and it feels really nice. It's pretty heavy. It's a good bit taller than my regular grinder. They have about the same diameter, but this new one has a much bigger chamber for your herbs. So let's start with the top because the top has a few pieces. So first is just the lid because the top of this is a storage container, but also under your lid, this is where you can store an extra grinding plate. So under our lid, we have our fine grinding plate. This thing looks sick. It has the same kind of like diamond shaped teeth with the magnet post in the center, but the teeth and the little holes in it are much smaller than my regular grinder. So this was just sitting in my lid for storage if I want to use it later. But underneath this is our storage container. And this is pretty deep. Feels really nice and smooth. You could fit a good amount of ground up herbs in the top of this. And if you didn't want to take this extra grinding plate with you, like you don't think you'll be using the fine one wherever you're going today, you don't have to. The lid will just screw on without it. And then there's nothing in the way in your storage container. The grinding plate of the top extends down a little bit on this little ribbed extension. And on the top is one of these anti-friction and residue rings. Just feels like this little ring of floppy plastic. It does feel very smooth though. And then when you get to the bottom of this little extension, that's where your teeth are. And the teeth on this look sort of like, you know, a regular grinder. They have that sort of diamond shape, the center magnet post to hold it together. But it all looks and feels very, very smooth with this anodized finish. I really like the feel of this. The bottom is fat and it looks like there are four layers. This first layer is just an extension ring. Underneath that, there is the medium grinding plate, which is pretty much just like our fine grinding plate, except it's more medium. 
the teeth are bigger, and all of the holes are big. Underneath this is where all of your ground flower goes and where you can see our screen. And there is a nice little smooth curve down here to sort of help everything go to the middle and land on that screen. And if we flip this over, this is really cool. First off, you can see it says Mesh 60 because that's the kind of screen we have in here is the stainless steel Mesh 60. They also sell monofilament screens on their website if you prefer, but all of the screens have these two little handles that you can just grab and unscrew the screen and take it all the way out of the grinder. Now it would be really easy for me to take this out and clean it or replace it or whatever I want to do whenever I want to do it. That is sick. And the handles make it like super easy to take it in and out. The bottom is our collection tray and there's some stuff in here. First we got this big long booklet. This shows about the warranty, the chambers, the design, and in the bottom there's a little guitar pick also. This is your tool that you use to like scrape the bottom and get everything out of your collection tray. And this big wide part of the guitar pick, it like just matches the shape of this bottom tray perfectly. And it has this nice big curve in the bottom. So I think with this guitar pick too, that it's going to be really easy to scoop some stuff out of here when it gets full. But let's grind some up and see. I got some pungent locally grown oregano. And if we grind this in our regular grinder, it's, you know, sort of what you would expect. It's a little sticky sometimes, but it gets the job done and it grinds the earth. Your screen in the bottom is probably just as dirty as mine. So these things usually don't work the best and the Stuff that does make it through usually isn't the easiest to get out. But it grinds up the herb just fine. I laid out some cardboard so we can see our grinds. So now let's try the grater grinder. I really like the color of this a lot, but I really like that it's not painted. This anodized aluminum is way less likely to chip or flake off and get into my herbs. The finish all feels really smooth, like things won't get stuck inside of it so bad. And the little booklet even says you only need to clean it with soap and water. And for the first grind, I'm gonna leave the medium plate on. We're gonna try the medium plate because I think this will be the best comparison to my regular grinder. Oh, that feels so nice. There's nothing, there's nothing to it to spin this. Wow, that feels so good. I think it's all through there already. Is that how quick that took? I mean, that's the normal size. That looks absolutely normal. Feels good. God, it smells amazing. Ooh, that fresh grown oregano. There's like a few little tiny pieces of bud still in the screen, but I mean, maybe I just didn't finish, you know, spinning it long enough. But when you compare these two piles side by side, they don't look like crazy different. I would say the one from the old grinder is maybe less like evenly ground. The one from the new grinder seems to be a little bit more consistent. I don't know if you can really see that in the video, but you can tell when you like touch it. But then I wanna pop this medium plate off and I'm gonna try the fine plate so let's see how fine the grind is okay pretty small but not powder at all that's not even close to powdery so we got the fine grinding plate the medium grinding plate and just the regular old-school grinder the difference between the fine and the medium, it isn't a crazy difference. There is a noticeable difference. You can see it and you can feel it, but it's not crazy different. But with all three examples from both grinders, all of the herb got ground up in basically the same way. But I don't think that is where this grinder is supposed to stand out. I think the real benefits of this grinder are all the user-friendly design upgrades. Like it has this big nice container in the top that I'm gonna put all of the herb we just ground up right in the top of the grinder. There is no paint to chip off and get in our flour. There are different grinding plates and different screens you can use to customize it to your preference or to change your grind on the fly. The collection tray is really smooth and deep and it's really easy to get everything out with this guitar pick. And this ribbed extension and the little anti-friction and residue ring will help keep this thing from getting really sticky and hard to use. I closed my regular grinder up the other day with a tiny piece of herb wedged in there somewhere where it shouldn't be. And I spilled stuff everywhere when I had to like yank it to get it unstuck. And something like that probably won't happen with this. And that storage lid is pretty big and it screws together really tight. So you can carry your herb in your grinder without worrying about the lid coming off and spilling your stuff everywhere. 
Plus it's made from 6061 hardened aluminum with an anodized finish to prevent impurities in your meds and all the Canistore grinders have a limited lifetime warranty. So if a tooth ever did chip or break somehow, you're covered. But is all that really worth paying 10 times more just for a grinder? This cheap grinder that I've had for a while is like one of the three cheap grinders that I have around this house. And over the years, I've probably gone through dozens of these grinders because one of the teeth will get bent or the screen will get clogged or the paint will start to chip or maybe it just gets so dirty that you just like, and I'm gonna get a new one. Cause who cares, it's only nine or $10. But they also sort of suck. How many times have you struggled with twisting your sticky grinder? You basically have to soak them in alcohol to clean them. So they're usually just always really sticky. The bottom screens sort of suck and the Keef tray isn't the best design. And these cheap grinders are often just painted and you will have paint chips that flake off the grinder that can easily land in your herbs. My herbs are too good to put paint chips in there. That's gross. I'm also thinking about all the money I spent or all the care I took to grow these herbs I'm actually grinding up in here. And how every single piece of my herb will eventually go through my grinder. And like how I use my grinder all the time. Like this is part of every session. So having all of these really nice little like quality of life improvements with the grader grinder I think will really add up. Especially after using this thing like a million times. Plus, if I have a really nice grinder that works really well, it's easier to clean, and it has replaceable parts and a warranty, I'm not going to be buying new grinders anymore. So that is something to consider too. This is the last grinder you will ever need to buy probably. So I think for a lot of people that this grinder could easily be worth the price. And $90 might not sound expensive to everyone. So I left a link in the description if you wanna check out the greater grinder for yourself. And make sure you check out this video where I review the perfect vape to pair with our perfect new grinder. And big thanks to all the members of the Strange Show Secret Stash Patreon who support my channel and help me make these videos. Thank you all so much.